So first job this morning is to do a mix. Um, Andy's here. My dad's out feeding out what's left. So yeah, start a cracking Sunday. So I suppose first job is we'll get this 7530 pulled over to the clamp. Get it parked up. Start filling it with some silage and straw. We're gonna be on nine meter this morning as well because uh, my dad's on the TM. So this is annoying. There's no way where I can back my uh, mixer in. So like normally I'd back it at this side here. Well, there's a bucket there, so I can't put it there. And the straw's behind it, which I need first. I can't book it at this side, because I don't have enough room to get this stack out here. Uh, if I put it in middle, it's gonna be on the place, really. It's a bit awkward. So ain't much room for me to cut out, then. Oh, God, decisions, decisions. So I've gone tight to the wall. Be a little bit tight getting that stack out, but best of a bad job. Oh my god, to add to me, just pulled up, rolled me up. He's like, It's uh, it's got silage and straw in it, so I didn't even need to fetch it up here. So it didn't really matter about where this bucket was or anything because it wouldn't have been in my way because I didn't actually need to bring the silage, uh, the silage, the mixer up here. Sundays, so I'll park that up, get back up mixer, drive it down there, fill it with molasses, then walk back up here, get my JCB. Uh, oh well, it's Sunday, it's a good job there's not much happening. So I pulled under the molasses now. I'm sure I can see that bit. So I just keep filling that until we got a ton in there. Happy days. Go parked in the shed. Turn my clock round, ready for later. And then head back up to my JCB. And then out and about feeding. And yeah, I'll have a walk back up here. Oh, our sun's nice. So today, be pretty steady, I think. Um, I think Andy's here until we finish feeding. Um, so I'll be doing afternoon feeding on my own. Um, I'll just do some pottering about around on the farm. Got that 6.9 to start, it's got a flat battery, so that might be one of my, uh, one of my jobs today. Not that it'll take long. But. So oh with a cloud of dust, I've got that filled now. 10 to 100. She is full. So I'm just letting that feed mix off now. Show you when it's done. Gonna let Andy in now, just open the big gate. Oh, 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 get back in there. Uh, he's gonna straw this pen up. gets a little bit tight. Go on, get Tom. Go on, babies. Uh oh, Andy. Need it, need it. Operator needs training. <laughs> He's a good lad. Yeah, so Andy will get that nicely strawed up in there. It's getting a bit dusty here, so I'm gonna move back. Yeah, it's a good show of our ventilation with this um, straw dust it's a very still day but it is i don't know if you can make it out on the camera but it is coming out of the shed 
so it doesn't hang around in there for long which is what we want We're all getting a bit giddy in there, we're all partying. Right, so I've let Andy in everywhere that he needs to go now. So just a little bit of storing up with my dad and the TM. So I think it's about time that I did my morning duty and made the teas. Yeah. Mum and dad and Andy are going to put some straw in with a spreader bale. Or they stopped for some reason. Probably because my dad's really happy. <laughs> oh my god, he loves it. I don't think he likes being filmed. So Andy and my dad are finished now for the day. Jeez, that sun is bright. Um, so it's just me. I've got to go and put some straw out, but that's in the way of this trailer so I need to shift that um, I need to go and shift the straw bale up on the clamp so that I can get the mixer up there and parked up so I'm just gonna be like walking forwards and backwards um, shifting things it's a lot easier when you've got more people here just to move things around for you a little bit but um, I don't care I quite like uh, working on my own uh, doing my own thing so it's not bad it's not a bad thing so I've shifted that straw bale and now I can go and park this up the yard which is a mixer tractor and this tractor being the 7.5 sounds like a bunny it is a nice sounding tractor a lot better than the uh, the newer R series, they just sound a bit like a Hoover. Whereas this, the 6930 and the 75, they sound like real diesel burners. Um, so yeah, I like them. Let's get this nice and parked in here. So that if we spill on it, it's not much of a bad job to shovel it back up. All right, so I'll just show you. So we would um, all right, so if you see that little black knob there, it's moving a little bit in the wind. Um, that's a, the gears for the mixer wagon that we were having the issues with. So if I zoom into that, I'll just change it into the low box now. There we go, and start the PTO. Yep, all working perfect. So yeah, to start the PTO, just push that in like that. That sends drive through that black shaft that's uh, there with the yellow sticker on it. To the mixer. Just turns the thing, turns the uh, augers round in the mixer then. That's what goes on inside the mixer. So they're spinning round. And we're going to chuck the straw in that I've got in the bucket over there and then the silage and it'll just chop it all up so we'll get this tipped in there and then I'll show you it destroying the straw hopefully it's not destroyed it by the time I uh, manage to climb those steps over there uh, I don't think it will have done There we go. Right. There we go, you see? That's just breaking that bale down. The knives will be cutting it. And then we'll put some silage in and our other ingredients. And it makes a nice balanced feed for the cattle. Everything that they need to keep them happy, healthy, and to put on weight. So yeah, I'm just putting in the silage now. 
She has a long, steady job with this cutter. I keep saying we ought to get another one. I've not got round to it yet. It's, it's fairly painful putting it in. Right. This is main silage that we grew on ourselves. Second year we've done maize now. Um, I'm not completely sold on it. Uh, we used to do whole crop before, and yeah, can't really say there's made that much difference. But um, maize has been good these last couple of years. We've had a good crop. But they reckon that with maize you can get a year in uh, sort of five or whatever that might be an absolute disaster. Whereas old crop wheat, um, yeah, pretty much it's more reliable. It's more reliable as a crop. Um, so yeah. We'll wait and see, see when we get a shit year if it decides we're not having maize again. But uh, we've not had a shit year yet, so we haven't been stung. Oh, I've got an helper now! Ash is here! He must have finished shooting! You finished shooting? Did you get out? No pigeons. That's what I like. Because our rape has been getting uh raping. Basically, hasn't it? Definitely been getting an <laughs> So shooters Mick and Ash just aren't, aren't getting it done. But I won't let anybody else on, so don't even think about so it. So I'm doing the second mix of the day. Just popping that molasses in makes it easier for Monday morning then so we'll have some on the floor ready and not be messing about so much. Surprise! <laughs> you managed to lift your eyes up, Ash? Some nice women on there. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Right, I better get this 125 shifted so that I can set some straw out. Ready for it morning. I'd like to try and make Monday mornings pretty easy because they're usually busy. Um, and yeah, nobody wants to come work on Monday, do they? And have everything to do. So let's try and make it a bit easier. And shift this. Normally I would have pulled that straw blower the other way around. But I've just seen Andy stacking at bales. Mm. Bit of an overhang there, Andy. I better not push these too much, had I? <laughs> I'm only joking, it's not that bad. I also wouldn't have even parked it there. I'm loving that time lapse feature, it's brilliant. Uh, I think me and Ash and Knight now just go and try and start that 6 9 30 up. 
flat battery. So we've got the jump leads that we got from Noah's Ark and we better go and give it a try. See if she starts. I'd left um I'd left my USB up on like an idiot. I, I do it every single time. I need to have it to ignition feed rather than to the battery really. So let's see if we've got enough in. Ah! That JCB's battery's fantastic! Uh, got a few revs on, we'll leave that running and we know that she'll work when we need to come to it. So these are the cattle that I fetched in last night from Gisborne. As you can see they've got their way through that uh, bale of hay. So we're just checking them over, make sure they're alright. He's happy. Chewing his cud, very good sign. That cow's got a little bit of cough, but she looks happy enough to me. Yeah, and they're all being a bit inquisitive now. Probably going to come and have a, a look at me. Yeah, fairly happy with that lot. So for the rest of the day, we're just going to be feeding up in the afternoon. And that's about it really. Sunday lunchtime, innit? Um, so yeah, if you like this sort of thing, remember to subscribe, like, comment. Um, yeah, probably see you tomorrow.